What's up guys, it's San here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to set up MetaMask with the Kronos DeFi blockchain which is Crypto.com's decentralized blockchain and then how you can pretty much add to the Kronos network and then from there onwards you can get started using Kronos for any kind of decentralized apps or services. So to get started we do need a Web3 wallet on our device, on our computer and the most common one is MetaMask. So I'm going to take you guys through the process of first setting up a MetaMask wallet. If you already have a MetaMask wallet set up just skip down the bottom of the video to where you see the chapters and it will show you uh, the second chapter which should be using MetaMask with Kronos. So to get started we do need to download MetaMask. So head to MetaMask.io. All these links will be down in the description below so you get them right. You do need to be using Google Chrome, Firefox, or the Brave browser to download and install MetaMask and you just follow the prompts here, install MetaMask, it'll take you to the Chrome web store and press add to Chrome. Now we just need to wait for MetaMask to install on our browser, it should only take 5 to 10 seconds max. So as you can see here it's already saying that MetaMask has, MetaMask has been installed on my browser and we're ready to go. So all you have to do is press get started and we want to set up a brand new wallet with MetaMask so I'm going to press create a new wallet. Now before we go any further you will need a piece of paper and a pen to write down your recovery phrase. This is a very very important part of setting up a new wallet so make sure you have a pen and a piece of paper handy. If you don't pause this video right now go grab them and then come back. Once you're back we need to just agree or no thanks to this. This is um, basically just some data. I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm going to press I agree. And now you have to create a password. Now this password isn't anything amazingly special with your security. This password basically just means if anyone was to access your computer and go onto your web browser, they wouldn't be able to open your MetaMask wallet and conduct any transactions unless they have this password first. So set a password that only you know that does make it secure. But remember this isn't the most important part of your security, but make sure you don't forget this password as well at the same time. I have read and agree to the terms of use, press create and skip this video uh, because this is a tutorial and I'm already showing you guys how to do this. And now this is the part where the secret recovery phrase comes in. So this is uh, 12 random words and these random words are the only way to get back into your MetaMask wallet. So if your computer died or somebody stole your computer, you accidentally uninstalled MetaMask from your internet browser by mistake you accidentally, un accidentally uninstalled Google Chrome or whatever internet browser you're using. If anything happens to this computer with this wallet on it or even this internet browser with this wallet on it, this is the only way for you to recover and access your wallet with the funds in it. So you need to click to reveal your words and write down these words on paper and make sure you don't share them with anyone that you don't trust with your money because anyone that has these words can access your wallet. It's basically a master key to your wallet. So I'm going to write mine down now and I'll talk to you guys in just a moment. All right, so I've got my 12 words written down. I'm going to press next. And now MetaMask is going to ask us to confirm those 12 words in the exactly or the exact correct order. So make sure that you do list them in the order from 1 to 12 that you wrote them down in. Um, and if you get any of this wrong, you will have to go back and restart the process if you wrote down your words in the wrong order. So I'm just going to go through and do mine um, and then I'll see you guys shortly once again. Once you've selected your 12 words, press confirm. And as long as you have that completely correct, it will take you to the screen where it says, congratulations, you passed the test, keep your secret recovery phrase safe, it's your responsibility. So like I said, guys, um, save that back up in multiple places, never share that phrase with anyone, and just don't use that phrase at all unless you have to access your wallet because you've lost access. People will make fake emails and fake websites asking you to input your 12 words most of those are complete scams. The only time you should use those 12 words is if you yourself lose access to your wallet because like I said, either you make a mistake and it's gone or somebody steals your device that the wallet is on. So press all done and we can exit this. This is just a basic um, information piece and we don't really need that in our life. So once we've done that, we can press, oh no, we're, in, we're into our MetaMask wallet. As you can see, MetaMask is a wallet that runs on the Ethereum network by default. But the cool thing with MetaMask is that you can add any blockchain that currently um, is a DeFi blockchain or a blockchain that allows Web3 activity to exist, like Binance Smart Chain, the Phantom blockchain, Solana, AVAX, and of course, Kronos, Crypto.com's brand new DeFi blockchain. So this is the part that gets a little bit more niggly and this is a part that you have to get once again correct uh, to make sure that you can add the Kronos blockchain to your MetaMask wallet. 
I'm going to put the, the information for this down in the description below. You do need to add these bits of text into your wallet. So I'm gonna show you how. Now probably the best thing to do is just go up to the top right corner of your browser, press extensions and pin MetaMask so you can open it at any given time. And I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So at the top, you need to select the network. So currently by default, MetaMask uh, works on the Ethereum network. We need to click on that one and press add network because we are going to be adding the Kronos blockchain. And so we need a network name. So if we go back here, we can see the network name is going to be Kronos. So we type in Kronos. You can pretty much call this one anything you want, but of course I'm just gonna call it Kronos. Whereas these other fields you do need to get right. So we need to put this one in for the RPC URL. Perfect, copy and paste, looks right to me. 25 for the chain ID, so 25. And lastly, CRO for the Kronos symbol, CRO and the block explorer. This is an optional one, but I will be adding the Kronos block explorer. And I, I would recommend you do it too. This basically means that if you ever want to view your transactions or um, what's going on with your transaction, this will automatically open the Kronos block explorer and you can see it on the blockchain yourself. Once you've checked that everything is correct, you press save. And just like that, we are now on the Kronos blockchain. So as you can see, I've got exactly the same wallet address. This is my wallet address here. Uh, for Ethereum and Kronos as well. And as you can see, I can actually select between the two wallets. So if I wanted, I could put Ethereum in this wallet and use the Ethereum blockchain like Uniswap and all those kind of DeFi things. Or at any given time, I can switch over to Kronos and use um, the Crow Swaps or VVS Finance or any kind of crypto, oh sorry, Kronos blockchain DeFi applications and services. Now, of course, you do need some CRO in your wallet. So this is your wallet address here to send to that CRO to. You can send your CRO from the crypto.com app or the crypto.com exchange, but make sure when you do send it to this wallet address here that you are selecting the Kronos network. And as you can see here in the screenshot, this is it on the crypto.com app. Make sure you select the Kronos blockchain. If you get that wrong, then your funds won't be sent to this wallet and you might have to go through some kind of recovery process, which could take time, or your funds could be completely lost. So remember, this wallet exists on the Kronos blockchain. So when you, when you send your CRO in, make sure you're sending it on the Kronos blockchain. And apart from that, guys, that is how you get started with the Kronos blockchain with your MetaMask wallet. We can actually go to show you a very quick example of how this works. So we've got a Google. I'm going to show you guys VVS Finance, which is a crypto, oh sorry, which is a Kronos. It's a Kronos DeFi uh, exchange. All we have to do is press connect wallet, select MetaMask, and it's going to come up here and it's going to ask us select to uh, link with this wallet. Yep. Connect. Wait for it to connect and it's all connected. So here on out, once I've actually got some CRO in my wallet, I can easily go and trade that for any kind of other token on the Kronos blockchain. Let's just say I had 300 CRO, I could instantly swap it for 144 USDC. I could start buying Doge um, or any kind of the token, any of the tokens that have launched on the Kronos blockchain um, organically like VVS. I could buy some VVS with my CRO. But the only thing to keep in mind, guys, is when it comes to this kind of decentralized stuff that you're doing, you always need some of the native token in your wallet. So I know I'm rambling, but this is one thing to remember, especially if you're brand new. Let's just say I had 300 CRO in my wallet. I need to make sure that I always have some CRO in my wallet because if I use it all for this one transaction, I won't have any CRO in my wallet because that transaction actually requires a fee and the fee is taken in CRO. And if I don't have any CRO in my wallet, I then don't have anything to pay for future transaction fees and I'm kind of stuck. And once again, I have to send some more CRO from my crypto.com app or exchange to my wallet. So let's just say I had 300 CRO. I wanted to swap it for VVS Finance. Instead of swapping the full amount, I might swap 280 CRO. And that means I am left with 20 CRO in my wallet. And that means that, you know, once I swap it, I still have some CRO in there to cover all my fees for whatever kind of transactions I need. And if at any given time I start running low on CRO, I can always swap some of this VVS finance back to CRO. So I've got some in my wallet or I could send it from the crypto.com app or exchange. So hopefully that makes sense. Just remember every kind of transaction that you do on a decentralized blockchain like Kronos, there is a fee incurred in the native token. 
And of course, on the Kronos blockchain, that fee is taken in CRO, Crypto.com's native token. So just remember to always keep some CRO in your wallet um, for any future transactions you would like to make. Now, apart from that, guys, I think I've already told you that's your wallet address right there. You can instantly copy it and check the start and finish of it. Um, and you can also open up MetaMask in a full screen if you prefer the full screen like this. But whenever you're using a DeFi uh, application website like this here, it's always just easy just to have it in the corner like this. Now, apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial did help you at least set up MetaMask. Make sure you've got your backup written down on paper in multiple locations, because like I said, that's your only way to get back into your wallet if anything went terribly wrong. And that's how you add the Kronos blockchain to your MetaMask wallet. All the information will be down in the description below. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions, do leave them down in the comments. Do subscribe for more Kronos related videos and DeFi related videos and tutorials, which I'm working on now. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. My name is San, and I'll see you in my next video.